right. Hi, Hi, thank you. There's so many options. What should I get? They're all delicious. Really? It, okay. Classic fish and chips. It okay. is coming over now. Good oh, morning. How are chef. you? Chef. Good to see you. Good to see you too. You're here. Uh, finally. Okay. Um, what is this? So this is um, this is a beautiful fish sandwich, a fish witch. So we got beautifully battered cod, um, sandwich in between toasted pita bread, amazing fries, delicious dipping sauce. But the secret here is that batter. What is the secret to your batter? Uh, a little touch of seasoning uh, in terms of uh, curry, beautifully salted but crisp, which enhances the flavour of the cod. And I will be honest, um, the recipe dated back to. My mother. So Mom's recipe. Mom, Can't beat that. And she doesn't know how successful it is yet, otherwise she'd be asking for royalties in every sandwich. <laughs> God bless her. Did she get them? Um, she doesn't get the royalties. I send her a few sandwiches from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> how do you make sure the batter is crispy and that the fish is crispy? Because yeah. I end up with soggy fish. I don't no, cook fried fish no, at my house. Nothing worse. So we lightly season the cod first. So there's a beautiful citrus salt that we literally run the cod through about 20 minutes. Pat that dry, lightly flour it, and it's all about the oil temperature and seasoning the fish the minute it comes out of the fryer. Once that's nice and hot, the seasoning sticks to that batter, and you've got this crisp, flaky sandwich to die for. And look at the setting. I know. So, Are you excited to be here? It uh, makes so much sense. I am peeing my pants on a daily basis, <laughs> and not in a way that I'm old and things are starting to take place, but with excitement, peeing my pants. Um, it's a dream come true, if I'm honest. I got first invited to, uh, to Washington back in 2008 for the Northern Hall with Mr. Obama. Yes. And so spending time there and seeing the sort of political side, this is now foodie heaven. And this whole wharf has just sort of transformed that foodie scene. Multicultural, stunning restaurants, and I think the location, honestly, it doesn't get better. I was born in Glasgow. So when you see where I was born, you can see why I'm so happy here. Oh, wonderful. What about the sauces? How am I supposed, can I, can I just eat dip, it? Dip in, Okay. Yeah. And then wow. when you've got a little bit of room left, this is a sticky toffee pudding shake. Oh my gosh. On the success of the, again, sticky toffee pudding uh, dating back to the early sort of uh, 70s at the Savoy mm -hmm. Grill, we elevated this and put it into a beautiful uh, shake. Shakes, you know how popular they are. Mm -hmm. See, I can hear that crisp. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. It's really crispy. Isn't it? Delicious. And that little bit of bread, not too heavy, not too soggy. And having that thing mm. toasted, let me get you a little napkin. What's um, the sauce on here, this green sauce? The sauce on there is a beautiful avocado, avocado mm. dipping sauce. So from an amazing house tartare to excellent. a beautiful avocado. You never really associate avocado with fish and chips, I but it gives that nice that. brightness and creaminess. Do you eat, eat fish and chips yourself? I, I do. If I ate it every day, I'd be the size of a tank. So I'm allowed to eat two portions a week. <laughs> <laughs> and then two portions sneakily behind the scenes. And at this shop, you have traditional fish and chips as well, not that's just right. your fish wing. No, that's right. No. From uh, traditional fish and chips to beautiful battered shrimp, uh, lobster and chips, you name it, we've got oh. it. So uh, you can start off with the basic, elevate that, uh, and even you know across the festive period, uh, there's wonderful new ideas to sort of help celebrate the holidays. And I love that you said you were here in 2008. Haven't you seen DC transformed from it's, the time you were here? Yeah, it's been an amazing transformation. And also, I think, um, just the amount of excitement that uh, it's imploded. And uh, it's a very competitive town, which I love. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to bring a little bit of nostalgia, a little Good. bit of cool Britannia to the wharf, because the architecture is stunning, the backdrop, and then you just think of the activities here on a seven day week purpose, beautiful. Last night, for a Tuesday night, this place was packed. Right? Packed. So, It's only yeah. getting busier. We're blessed. And the fact that you have three Michelin star restaurants and you're also doing a fish and chip place, what does it say about your brand, your vision, and who you want to be here? Yeah. For me, it's like going back, because that's how I started. Mm -hmm. You don't start off in three Michelin star, but you need to go through um, those levels of gradient in a way that you learn the basics, elevate, local bistro cooking, neighborhood restaurants, elevated fine dining, one star, two star, three star. And so everyone thinks that it's a sort of foregone conclusion. You're sort of, you're nailing it, but that's the bedrock. That's how we started, learning the perfect fish and chips. And we have a little house on the coast in Cornwall and fish and chips is a staple there. So bringing it here to Washington, honestly, I'm happy. You're so exacting in everything you do. Yeah. Can you talk about that and how you elevated your cooking to make sure mm -hmm. everything is just so when you watch you on your shows it's a little scary my kids yeah. like that fire yeah it, 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 it scares me sometimes <laughs> watching some of the they put out <laughs> so uh, I'm a perfectionist you really and are and if you want to play sports at that level then you need to be 
in the zone. If you want to cook at that level, you need to be in the zone. I think for me, it's like a culinary boot camp. Hell's Kitchen has produced phenomenal talent. I go back to season 10 with the amazing Christina Wilson, who's yes. now our executive corporate chef. That is a thoroughbred. She could be on her own without Gordon Ramsay and a huge success. So I'd be devastated, by the way, if she left. However, um, I just want it right because it's an insult to customers when you look how much they're paying whether it's $15 for fish and chips or $50 for a Wellington, it needs to be perfect. And that's installed in me because of the talent I work with and they gave me their reputation, which was then in my hands to put their food on their plates. And so there's a level of respect that you've got to garner in order to master it. And you're not easing off after all these years. Uh, no, I'm not easing, I think I'm just coming into my own. I think I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, it's funny, uh, yeah, I'm still learning, I get to travel the world. Uh, Uncharted uh, gives me an opportunity from um, Guyana last year in the middle of a jungle uh, chasing giant caiman, um, repelling out of a helicopter onto an amazing part of the Amazon, just breathtaking. So yeah, I, I, I don't sit still. Really a bit like my batter, it stays crispy. It really, Ten minutes <laughs> it's still crispy. It's still <laughs> crispy. What's, what else do you want to do? You, it seems like you've done it all, but you can, still say you're learning. Can you imagine if I had to put my feet up and sit there throwing sandwiches at the TV? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I've just spent the last two and a half decades crafting the trade. We have an amazing team. And I think that level of unselfishness to continue nurturing, handing the baton over, and then propelling talent. Well, we're so excited to have you in D.C. Likewise. And this is delicious. Thank I you. really like fish and chips. Save room for the shape, mm -hmm. honestly. Mm -hmm. And we'll go for a run in the morning. We'll, mm. we'll, we'll run it off together. We'll have to run a lot to eat this, though. <laughs> but it's worth it. Thank you, Chef. Good to see you.